Welcome to Electron Online. In our second example, again, we're trying to find the equivalent force couple system uh, at right here at point A, and then the equivalent force acting at some point, and we need to find out where that point is, so that a single force can replace all the forces acting on the system right here. Notice there's three forces. They will cause an equivalent force acting on the object, assume that's an object, and there will be a moment at point A, and we also want to find the location where we need to put that equivalent force so that it will also give you that equivalent moment about point A. So how do we do that? Well, as long as it's a two-dimensional problem and all the forces are in the plane, which is the case right here, this is a head-down view, it's like a, a bird's eye view, so to speak, of what is happening. So all the forces are in the XY plane, or the XZ plane, whatever you prefer. And so therefore, we can still find the equivalent force couple system and the equivalent force representing all of these forces right here, both the total force, the resultant force, and the moment at point A. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to find the X and Y components of each of the forces. That makes things a little bit easier. So let's find the Y component of that force and the X component of that force. Notice at a 45 degree angle, the X and Y components are equal and they each will be 707 newtons each. So 707 newtons each. Notice that this is in the negative direction, so we'll call that in the negative 707 newtons. Here, notice that this is the entire force in the y direction, so we can simply call that a single component of minus 1,000 newtons. And here again, we have both an x and a y component. We'll have the x component this way, the y component this way. They're both positive. At 30 degrees, this would be half of that. That would be 500 newtons in the positive x direction, and this would be 866 newtons in the positive y direction. So now we have found all the x and y components of the three forces, which makes it easier to find the equivalent force. So the sum of the forces in the x direction, which would be the magnitude of the, uh, the x component of the resultant, which is equal to, so we have a positive 707 newtons, 707 newtons, plus zero newtons because of the second force, and we have a positive 500 newtons because of the third force, which gives us a total of 1,200 and 7 newtons in the x direction. The sum of the forces in the y direction is equal to the y component of the resultant, of course the magnitude of the y component, and this is going to be equal to, we have a minus 707 newtons, we have a minus 1000 newtons, and we have a positive 866 newtons, positive 866 newtons. So I'm going to grab my calculator, and so I have a 1707, that's negative, and then we add to that 866. So we have a negative 841 newtons. Negative 841 newtons. Let's quickly see if that's correct. That would be 707, 841. Yep, that looks like it's right. Okay, so now what we can say is we can find the equivalent resultant, right? The equivalent resultant about point A is going to be, because we really can put it anywhere, except by moving it, we're going to get a different moment. So the resultant about point A is equal to, in the x direction, a positive 1207 newtons in the x direction minus 841 newtons in the y direction. All right. Now, what will be the moment about point A? Well, the moment of point A would be the moment caused by all the various components added together. So let's go ahead and do that. So the moment, the resultant at point A, that's how we write that, is equal to. All right, taking the x component of this force that will give us a clockwise motion, which is a negative value, so that would be minus 707 newtons, multiply times the distance, and that distance would be 25 meters. And the result of that would be in the z direction, so that would be negative z direction, k direction. All right, how about this one right here. Now notice the line of action goes right through the pivot point right here at A, so there's no moment added by this component. Now we have this component right here, which again gives us a clockwise motion that would be minus 1000 newtons. Multiply times this distance right here, 
that would be 75 meters minus 25 meters, which is 50 meters. That's also k direction. That takes care of that. Now we have two more components right here. We have the x component right here. Now that gives it a counterclockwise motion that would be positive. So plus 500 newtons multiplied by this distance right here, which is 25 meters. That would be the k direction, so that's a positive component. And then we also have this component right here, which also would give it a clock, counterclockwise direction, that's positive. That would be plus 866 newtons. And the distance, well, let's see here, if this is 40 meters, if this is 25 meters, the distance here is 15 meters. And that would also be the z direction. So, summing all that up, So what do we get? So we have 707, that's a minus, times 25, minus 50,000, plus 500 times 25, and plus 866 times 15, and that gives me a minus 42,185 Newton meters in the K direction. So that means that I will have an equivalent force right here at point A equal to, hmm, let me find the magnitude of that as well. If we want to find the magnitude of R, the magnitude of R is equal to the square root of 1207 squared plus 841 squared. Let's see what we get there. So 1207 is squared at plus 841 squared equals, take the square root, so it'd be a, a total uh, of 1,471 newtons. That would be the magnitude of the resultant. And let's draw the resultant at point A. Let me use purple for that. So let's see here. It would be a positive 207 and a minus 841 in the x and y direction. So that would be about this way, about this way. That's about like this. So there's my resultant. And then the moment, which would be perpendicular to the plane, and so since we're looking at bird's eye view, and it's a negative result, which means it would be a positive or counterclockwise, I should say, not positive, but a counterclockwise motion. So the moment, like this, the moment, about point A, the resultant would be equal to, uh, this would be minus 42,185 Newton meters in the k direction, and this here would be uh, 1207 newtons in the i direction, minus 841 newtons in the j direction. So those are the resultant force couple system that's equivalent to the three red forces that we have drawn there. Now, what if I want to move that force to a point where I can eliminate the moment? So, notice that all the forces are acting on the edge, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an arbitrary place. I'm going to move R to some location, let's say right here. There's my R that's now been moved. Notice the line of action is being displaced by distance D. This would be the distance D. And notice that the magnitude of R has stayed the same. The direction of R has stayed the same. I simply displaced it. And so now I have it at a new location right here. Notice I know the distance from A to the edge, that's 25 meters, but I don't know the distance from here to there. Let's call that distance, that's in the X direction, so let's call it X. So now I'm going to find X that will allow me to get rid of the moment at this particular location, which means the moment of A would be equal to the resultant acting at that particular location which means the resultant will have an x and a y component. And let me use a different color for that. Let me use this color. So notice the resultant will have an x component like this, and it will have a y component like that. And we know the magnitude of the x and y component. There's the magnitude of the x component. There's the magnitude of the y component. And they will cause a moment about point A. And that moment caused by the x and the y component of the resultant acting at this location should equal the moment at A. And that's how we properly replace it.
that will give us the distance x. So what we're saying here is that the moment at A has to equal, notice that the x component acts at a distance of 25 meters. So it'll be 25 meters multiplied times r sub x plus, and notice that gives me a negative moment, so I should put a negative in there somewhere. Let me put a negative in here, so that's a negative of that. And notice that the y component also will cause a negative moment about point A, so that would be minus this distance right here, which is x, multiplied times the y component of r. All right, and those have to be equal to each other. So we know that the moment was a negative, where are we? Here, right here, negative 42,185. So it's a minus 42,185 Newton meters equals 25 times r sub x. And r sub x, and I need a negative in here, so let me make that a negative 25. Negative 25 times an r sub x, and r sub x is 1207. Plus a negative x times r sub y, and r sub y was 841. I just want to make sure that I get a negative moment from that. So a negative value here times this value right here. We're good. That gives us uh, 841. Now all I have to do here is solve this equation for x, and that tells me the exact location where I need to put the result in so that I can take the system of three forces and replace them by a single force r placed at this exact location, a distance x away from that point right there. So, to find x, what do we do? We say that x is therefore equal to minus 42,185. Moving this over to the other side, that would be plus 25 times 1207. And then the whole thing divided by the coefficient of that, which would be a minus 841. Notice I'll carry the negative with the 841, so I get a positive x. I turned the whole equation around, moved this to the other side, became positive, and that should give us the value for x. So we have 25 times 1207, subtract from that 42,185, and then divide by a negative 841, and I get x is equal to 14.3 meters. x is equal to 14.3 meters if I place my resultant force 14.3 meters away from this location right there to the right, then I can replace the whole system, the three forces, 1,000 newtons, 1,000 newtons, 1,000 newtons, by a single resultant, and the moment is taken care of by placing it at that exact location, and that's how that is done.